Hi guys. So three minutes, let everyone know. I'm just gonna put it in the Telegram group now that we're starting. Right, so we got, we have two minutes, good, so many people we get in, tell people it's an important call, eight of you turn up, well done guys, sure we get more in eventually, there's an emphasis on the word eventually, I was just, I was just hoping, you, I was just hoping you were going to be late just so I could have a pop. <laughs> <laughs> Bad luck, matey. Bad luck. So, so no, Joe. It's Thanksgiving, so Joe won't be with us. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, he hasn't answered my message, so I, I knew that was a foregiven conclusion. Yeah, he answers mine. He likes me. Twenty-one hours. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. That's because you don't rip his ear off. Yeah, we, we know why. We know, we know exactly why. Yeah. Yeah. So. I know, uh, I've not answered your message because I haven't listened to your voice note, so I do apologise if you came straight onto this. Otherwise, I would have been late. So, uh, let's take a look through. Oh, Wilshaw, you owe me a call. <laughs> You've not phoned me for freaking months. Now, your fat on toying was attacking you. <laughs> if I ever could. Do you, do, do you think maybe he doesn't like it? I mean, he used to come. It could be something. Like he used could to come round to your house. He didn't talk to you when he came round to your house. He just sat there. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> so he's now gone. Where has he disappeared? That's what you get for talking is he about people. Off or is he still on? I, I think he's dropped off. I oh, know. That or else he's hiding. Oh, me. no, there he is. There he is. I got you. <laughs> I got you. You can <laughs> unmute yourself and just have a pop back if you want. <laughs> Right. <laughs> He's still smiling anyway. Okay. okay. Right, guys, yeah. eight o'clock, time for us to get started. So, like I said, no Joe Gomez with us this week because it's Thanksgiving. To be honest with you, Simon and I said so it's been really a weird, weird year. This there wasn't any build up for Thanksgiving. We didn't we didn't even think about it, did we, until today? I hardly I hardly saw it at all. Yeah. And usually with them, with the Americans, it's, it's like the biggest seller. You know, it's it's bigger than Christmas. So so yeah. usually it's everywhere, but no mention of it today. So we knew it was this week, and then all of a sudden realised, oh, it's today. So we didn't expect him on that basis anyway. When I sent the message across, and sure enough, he's digging into his turkey right now. But Simon and I wanted to have a word with all of you, um, and a couple of things really. The first thing is to to talk about. Tuesday night, because Tuesday night's call, guys, uh, take our hats off to all of you. You did a great job. You know, you went for it. You put people on there. Your testimonials were superb. You know, they were short to the point. I cut down all the stuff that I used to do and condensed it. Also, we kept it tight and we had a call that people liked. To the point that I think at the moment, um, the last count that I've got so far is I think six people who were on that call have signed up. Six prospects that were on it, and that's what we want to see. That's what we want you know we want to get 
that kind of level of response. Now, we kind of, we thought that might be the case, and we were hoping that was going to be the case. We've tried a number of different things this year, uh, trying to make things better for everyone. We tried we tried the webinar because we thought if we can have calls starting every 15 minutes, we can get millions of people on. Well, the webinar didn't work for us. And the biggest reason the webinar didn't work for us is the minute people, nothing to do with us, but the webinar's website forced people to put an email address in before they could actually go through to it. And at that point, more than half of the people just went away and never got to saw it. Saw it, see it. So that so they just they didn't see what we were talking about. Uh, so it wasn't the success that, that we wanted it to be. Uh, particular tragedy for Simon because he paid for it. And hats off to you for trying it, mate. <laughs> you know, no, I'm not. I'm not laughing about that. I don't think. You know, but I, I but full respect for for trying it and thank you for putting the effort in. Uh, and I, I think that has to be recognised. But we tried different things. Um, we tried our Zoom calls in the past, and our Zoom calls had some success. With it, they always worked. A live Zoom always worked. But there was always something missing from our live Zooms. And one thing that was missing from our live Zooms, and we knew it, was testimonials. Because testimonials sell in, in 30 years in network marketing. It's not what I say. It's not what anyone else says. It's you guys telling your story that sells on Zooms. And it's not my story and it's not Simon's story. Simon can go on and say, I've made 40 million pounds in this, or 40 million dollars in this industry. And people think, well, bully for you, but I can't do that. And they just zone out. And then one of you guys comes on and says, I got started last week and I made 57 pounds this week. And I'm really excited. And they go, oh, wow. If I could make 57 quid a week, that would make a world of difference to me. The small stories are the ones that get the excitement. And we got that, you know, we, we kind of knew that, but we get carried away with the momentum. We all, every single one of us gets carried away with the momentum of what's happening around us. And particularly because I Am Academy is moving at such an incredible pace. 15 months ago, when Simon and I joined I Am Academy, there were 40,000 customers in the company. Today, it's close on 10 times that number. Spectacular growth. Yeah. But what it means is we're seeing these Americans doing all these incredible things, sponsoring people like it's going out of fashion. And you think, what are they doing? They must be doing incredible things. Well, they told us on Impact Island what they're doing. They're doing Zoom after Zoom after Zoom after Zoom after Zoom after Zoom after Zoom. After Zoom. And it's lots of people telling short stories. So we had this conversation. Uh, a couple of you guys had asked us to do live Zooms again. And we held back a little bit on it. And then we said, yeah, OK, we would do it. We put the idea, Tuesday was the perfect test. And we've talked about it. And we talked about doing live Zooms, uh, picking them up again. And I put forward a suggestion that we do it once a week until the new year. And the new year, we start doing them weekly. Um, Simon's crap at sort of half playing these things. Simon says, now let's let's do it now. Just just do it now. So from Monday, we're gonna do a Zoom every do we say four or five days a week? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So four times a week. We're yep. gonna do the call at 7:30. And the, this is what we're why why you chose 7:30. What we want to do is keep them like they were on Tuesday. Short, sexy, punchy, over and done with in 15 minutes. And if we do it at 7.30, we know we've got to get it nailed because at 8 o'clock we've got to call with Simon, uh, with Jaden, with Brandon. Simon will be there as well. We've got to call with Brandon. And then Tuesday we have our first, you know, our, our must-do Tuesdays. We've got something happening at 8 o'clock most nights. But if we can do a 15-minute presentation... And you guys do exactly what you did this week. A short, simple introduction to people. Tell people, this business is so simple. If you can copy a text message, you can do this business. They want to know what more. 
get them on the call. End of story. Let's not worry about three-way calls right now. What we do is we turn around and we just say, quick, quick presentation. If you can copy a text, you can do this business. If they want to know more, we've got a call tonight at 7.30. They come on the call at 7.30. A lot of your prospects, a lot of your prospects will turn around and say, well, what is it, what is it, what is it, what is it? Well, listen, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's a 15-minute presentation that's going to start at 7.30 tonight. Can I count on you? Don't let me down. I've only got two lines available. Will you like one? i tell you now, if when you see this, you and I could make a fortune together. It's a waste together not you will or i will together we can make a fortune yeah but what is it what is it i tell you what i can't tell you what it is but i can tell you what it isn't it's nothing to do nobody with else can say that you know that don't you i know well <laughs> write it down don't do it. but the benefit is no one else can deliver no. it like you can but because we don't record it that's why we can put the money in. <clears throat> and right. now, I'm not going to be going down the road to saying I make 14 million. No, I can turn around and say, you know, yesterday I made 63 quid or 89 quid or whatever it is. The benefit With is we've got a platform. Now, you take someone like Rosie, who's on the call. She's in Johannesburg. She is two hours ahead of us. So 7.30 for Rosie means it's only 9.30 in Jobo, which is going to be a massive benefit. Now, we had a lot of people that went on that Zoom, got excited about that Zoom, and then they said, when's the next one? When's the next one? And we didn't have a next one. So that's when Roger and I banged our heads together and said, right. If the people in America are doing Zoom after Zoom after Zoom after Zoom, that's what we should do. But it's going to be a few conditions. If you guys do not support it. Now, what we don't want, we've spoken about this at great length. We do not want professional meeting attenders. Let me tell you what a professional meeting attender is. Oh, I haven't got anybody going on, but I know they want me to go on to have a look eyes on the target no the idea is for you to get your friend <coughs> excuse me your brother your sister your mother your father whoever on as a prospect that's the simplistic part of it now there is one other criteria roger and i need testimonials so you guys need to be in the phoenix group saying roger I'll give you a testimonial. Now, we don't want War and Peace. Roger's very, very good at cutting all the crap out when people want to go on forever. So it's just simple who you are, where you're from, what your background is, and how much money you make. Now, the benefit is if you haven't made diddly squat, and we don't want people saying, oh, yeah, I made a thousand now. We had Ed's guy, Dave Lawton. He's made thousands from the trading, which is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. But not everybody's done that or can do that. So that's not what we're after. We're not after the big, big money. We're yeah. after money that people are making on a consistent daily basis. And the more people that come on that are different, the more exciting it will be. So do we all agree that, that? let's just just deal with that one. That's one more thing that's really important. You see, you, what money you make is important, but what's more important is the stories. I'm a taxi driver. I've got a sandwich shop. I were, I'm, I'm a nurse. I'm an accountant. Different backgrounds, because yeah. what people see is ordinary people doing this. Everyone doing it. And your stories, like Simon said, your stories are important. And we need to have, that number was just about right the other day. But I tell you now, I, it was like pulling teeth trying to get eight people together. And from the numbers of people we've got, that's bad. And, and I've got to say, guys, that's down to, I need you guys saying to me, 
let me tell my story. Your story is just going to be short and sweet. You know, if you're nervous about telling it, I will coach you through it with the best one. You know, we'll do it one on one beforehand and I'll tell you exactly what you need to say and keep it short. But it'll do you a power of good because if you've got prospects on and you're called out as being one of the examples, they think, oh, oh, I'm talking to the right person. And you will get people join your team. You know my story from the, from the past. So I worked with Simon many, many years ago. I got remarried and I had a choice, either stay with network marketing or my new wife. She looked way better than Simon did. So I left network marketing. I came back to this industry about three years ago. When I came back to the industry, I came back with a bang. I sponsored my 12 people in my first 11 hours. And that night we had a Zoom call and I was on the Zoom and I was giving a story. And I've given a story every single week since that day. My first day back in network marketing, I have always given a story on every single Zoom. Jamie was with that company. Jamie's seen me doing it. Cello's seen me doing it. Simon, Tony seen me doing it. I always gave a story because I know how important it is for my business. I know how important it is that my prospects see me saying something. It's important for you. What we also want to do, we want to get some of you guys to do the presentation as well instead of me. The more people we have doing the presentation, the better it is for all of us. I'll give you the slides. The slides are a doddle because everything that you need to say is on there. And we're going to do a training session, not this weekend, but next weekend. And we'll talk you through how to do that. That in itself is really simple and straightforward. We're going to put a condition on it. We're going to say you've got to be P150 or above to do uh, to, uh, to actually host it. But I'll tell you now, if you're hosting it, get as many people as you can on the call. Because, again, you're the person who's seen at the front of the room. And everyone wants to be the person who's up at the front. So Rosie's got her hands up for the presentation already. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. So three that's people, Rosie. you got to get three people. But that's the deal. You, you know, you, you have to, for you to be there, we've got to turn around and say that you have a position. We can introduce you with a position. So... That's that. Um, but really, the key to it all is simplicity. And that introduction that Simon said, when people turn around and say to you, what's it all about? Keep your answers simple. And your simplest answer is, look, I'm sorry, I'm really busy. I'm in a rush right now. Can't talk. But the call tonight will explain everything. Last 15 minutes. Are you free at 7.30? If you're not free at 7.30, don't worry. We've got another one tomorrow. But just be too busy to talk to people. Do not let people drag you into explaining it. Because the reason we've been growing slowly so far, and we've had conversations with many of you one-on-one, -on -one, and you all know it, the, comp the problem is you've all started explaining the business to people yourself, and you're all saying too much. Here's the thing, and Simon and I were making notes today about what we should be saying to people, what they should say, what they shouldn't say, all sorts of things. And I came out with one line, and as I came out with it, I said to Simon, that's a note in itself, isn't it? Because as we're making the notes, I said, whatever you say, where was it? Where was my notes? And what I said to Simon is, anything that makes people say, what's that? you don't want to be saying it on your story. So that means when you're telling your testimonial, don't turn around and say, I follow HFX because your prospects think, well, what's that? Don't know what that is. It's a disease. And every time you turn around and say that, and your prospect in their head says, what's that? I don't know what it is. That's a reason for them to say no. Because what happens, because they won't say no to you and they won't say to you, I don't understand what you're talking about because it makes them feel a bit stupid. We know they're not stupid, but it makes them feel that way. If you turn around and say, all you have to do is 
copy a text message from one app from your text to an app and you can make money or watch a live video and when the guy says press the blue button you press the blue button everyone says well i can do that but if you turn around and say i do hfx someone else does frx then you know you know Sue's having a battle with with DCX right now, and we've got the ECX Academy. You've lost them. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd have lost the will to live at that. It's and it, but it's so easy for us to do. We know what all the options are. They don't. You have to remember what's going through their head right at that moment in time. So keep it spectacularly simple. And we had a call last week with Larry Thompson. By now. I would hope that you've all watched the video. I know you haven't, but I would hope that you've watched it. Watched it. It's posted in the Facebook groups. It's posted in the Telegram groups. It's posted everywhere. Larry Thompson knows what he's talking about, and he pulled me and Simon up for not keeping it as simple as we used to do. And that's why we've gone back to this. And within a week, we've seen results. We've had about 11 people join our business since last Wednesday, last Thursday night, just because we've cut it down and we've got people talking about simple things. And I was talking to Taylor about it today. And do you know what she said? She said, that's such a spectacular transformation on the book club tomorrow at three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. I'm going on the book club with Larry and Taylor to tell people what we're doing because we're keeping it simple. But it's not what I'm doing, it's what you guys are doing. So if you get the chance to watch the book club tomorrow at three o'clock, then you'll see Larry and Taylor talking to me about it. And I'm hoping to God I can squeeze any other tips out of them. Because what I'm trying to do is make sure that I get them to come back on to do another call for us in January, but this time, a big call where we can get everybody on it. But seriously, what we're doing is working. And you've all seen the difference in excitement level in the last seven days throughout the group. You've seen people talking more. You've seen people introducing more people in. Just before I came on, I just, just brought someone else. I've got to, I've got to add it. I just added someone else into the, the Phoenix group. And you, see, you probably saw the name pop up in the bottom of the Phoenix group. I'll welcome him into the Facebook group after this call. We're signing people up. We're all doing it. And that's the important thing. But when we're doing it, we're doing it by keeping it simple. If you haven't signed anyone up yet in the last week, don't worry about it. Your turn is coming really, really soon. But all you need to do is keep it simple to people. So when someone says to you, what's it all about? Don't say, well, what you do is this because you'll lose them. Mm. You stick with Larry's explanation. And Larry's explanation is all I know is they send me a text and I copy the numbers into an app and it works. Do you want to give it a go? See, the thing is, I learned many, many years ago that people looking at a presentation ask themselves, two questions or one of two questions number one is it for me number two can i do it so is it for me the way that they will know it's for them is when we get bus drivers on with a testimony house cleaners on with a testimonial window cleaners on with a testimonial accountants on with a testimonial every walk of life on with a testimonial is it for me? Yeah, well, if they can do it, so can I. Can I do it? Well, they don't know unless they try. That's the benefit. So here's the deal you need to do. You need to go to your local do-it-yourself shop, buy some masking tape, whack it over your mouth, and turn around and not. You can text your friends, do whatever. But don't open your gob and tell them it's forex. Forex? Is that durex? No, forex. You know, don't you don't confuse it. Sorry. Sorry. I always have to throw one in there. I thought you were gonna get go forex, is that a lager? No, 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 no. Let's go somewhere completely different. <laughs> but anyway, 
what I'm trying to say is you can keep it fun. You can keep it simple. Don't complicate it. Treat it with some fun. Treat it like a game. I class it like hunting. And I love to hunt. And I'm prospecting all day, every day. And I tell you what, I just enjoy it. I just think it's so much fun. It, to me, it's like a challenge. Can I get that person over the line? Can I introduce that person? When I do, then great. I want to get them set up all on the, the accounts and the trades and everything else. Fantastic. So you give them a reason, get them set up on a demo account, get them trading, then they've got a result, then they can turn around and tell their best friends. But then now you have an event every single night. Well, every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night at 7.30. Keep it simple because we know we got to be on the Zooms on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, well, Wednesday's a, a Facebook Live, but we're on there anyway. So it makes sense that we're not taking another day out. If we condition ourselves that that is our office, that is our place of work, treat it that way, guys. Don't confuse it, don't complicate it. Do not tell your contacts what it's all about. Even if they beat you up and ask you, just turn around and say, listen, I don't know about that. I just know that I'm with these bunch of people and some of them are making a, an obscene amount of money. If you want to hear about that, join this call. I've only got two lines available. Get on WhatsApp and I will send it over to you. End of days. Real simple, guys. Real simple. Don't confuse the issue by thinking, oh, let's beat them up. Let's tell them everything about it. Why? What you're then going to do and one thing you should never do is never tell them it's I am Academy. Let me tell you why. Because the first thing they're going to do is Google I am Academy. They're going to Google it to find a, an excuse to tell you, nah, not for me, before they've even seen it. So the key factor is when your prospects are on the Zoom and they're seeing all different walks of life of people making all different sorts of money, they're going to turn around and say, ah, they can do it, so can I. This might be for me. Okay, let's give it a go. That's the answer you want. The idea is to recruit, 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 recruit. Then we can get you ranking advancing. Then we can get you guys up to chairman. That's the goal. That is the goal. Something Simon just said something there as well. Rank advancing. I put a post up the other day and said we haven't done recognition for a, a a few months now, and that's really down to us because we end up doing it all ourselves and we just haven't done it. So we need to do that. We need to recognise people. But there are people, some people not on the call, but people in, uh, but people on the call who've advanced rank who've advanced rank in the last month, who've advanced rank in the last week, who've advanced rank in the last few hours. And we're going to make sure that we do that recognition this week. Katie went to P600 a couple of hours ago. I got a message through saying how excited she was about it. So well done, Katie. So she, the effort that she puts into what she does and the effort that she puts into supporting all of you guys, whether you're in her team or not, you know, more than deserved it's like you know long overdue so we're going to make sure that everybody gets recognized this this week but that's a consequence of changing things and simplifying things because katie came on the phone to me the other day and said i think i'm complicating things katie said it jamie said it bailey said it you know bailey with with a bit of luck we'll have bailey at p600 by the weekend if we can get pay, bailey to p600 so we can recognize him as well you know, so we, the, the results are coming in. And these are the results on these Zooms when people can turn around and tell their story. And, you know, Bailey will know and Katie will know and Jamie will know and Daisy will know that the beginning of the week, before they open their eyes on Monday, they know there's $150 coming on Friday anyway, before they actually do anything, before they place a trade. 
That's the story that some of your people need to hear. That $150 a week to someone who's been on furlough and is worrying how to pay the mortgage, that's, that's a life changer for people. And you can give them that. Yeah. And we, we all sort of, we, we've done too much talking about, you know, the top earners earning 860 grand a month and this, that and the other. No one can see it. No one can believe they'll ever do it. You know, even I don't have my eyes set on 860 grand a month. Even Simon doesn't and he's greedy. So, <laughs> but 600 a month can change people's lives. Let's change some people's lives because the more people that we can help, the better off we all are. That's not a bad way to make money, is it? By helping other people. So what I would like you to do now, tonight, we've got 23 people on right now. Uh, we had 26 at one point, so whether three people got bored, got cut off, I don't know. But we had 69 people on the other day. So 50 odd of them just couldn't be bothered turning up for this one. So can we put some comments in the Phoenix group to talk about this? This is recorded. So this is going to go in the Phoenix group so they can see it. They need to see it. Your teams need to see this. We and we tell everybody what our goal is. Yeah, go on. Our goal is to max out. We can only take 100 people on the Zoom. And our goal is to max out. Could you imagine when we start maxing out on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? So we then have to do two calls. Could be three calls a day. Could you imagine doing three zoom calls opportunity calls a day because we got too many people on shine on we'll be getting chairmen's popping left right and center that's the goal next year we're going to ramp it up next year is going to be a totally different year for all of you but if right you now to. december in december you've got a chance we've got four weeks left before christmas I bet Katie's already got them all. Oh, we got all the advent calendars up already, but four weeks before Christmas. In those four weeks, if you got someone start today and we got them to piece 100 in their first week, which is more than doable, they would have an extra $150 a week coming in for three weeks. That'd be an extra $450 before Christmas for them. Do you think that would help their Christmas? You've got the power to help people. And this when people is, say, Yes, this is no. This means I don't trust them yet. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. It's a yes. An absolute yes. But but people, you know, we've got a power and we've got a power to help paint change people's lives. And when people turn around and say to you, well, it sounds expensive. Larry Thompson's answer, stock answer, it's worked for 53 years and it will work today. Stock answer is, well, I don't know about that. All I know is they send me a text and I place these trades and I get paid. And I get paid every week. Yeah? Is it worth £40 a week to get paid $150 a week? Well, duh. <laughs> Seriously. That's what it's all. When someone turns around and says it sounds expensive, you're missing the point, mate. If all you're thinking about is I need to protect $175, you're staying wherever you are. Because if you think it's a lot of money today, then this time next year, you'll think it's a lot of money and you won't have a pot to pee in. And the people who join us will be having the best Christmas of their lives next year. This one will be a happier one. This one will be a brighter one because they're looking forward to 2021. But Christmas 2021 will be off the charts. And Christmas 2021, we will be able to have a Christmas party because we were planning one this year. But Christmas 2021, we will be able to have a party. And my God, will that be a party? That will be some fun. So, guys... Go into the Phoenix group, tell everybody who wasn't here that they're complete and utter numpties for not being here and tell them they do need to watch this the second I put it up. And let's get people plugged in for as many people and as many calls as we can, as many people as we can for as many calls as we can 
Monday through Thursday next week at 7.30, not at 8 o'clock, 7.30. I'll put a new flyer up that you can use as an ad that you can put onto Facebook so you can try to drive people to it, get people to come and contact you. And we'll, we'll give you the tools that you need, just get talking to as many people. But I also, I need to have people telling me, you know, I, I need people coming to me saying, put me down for a testimonial, I'll do a testimonial. And really, it's not just that I need it, you need to be one of those people. Can I, can I finish on one thing? Yep. Guys, we're in a very, very sociable time of the year. Now, I know that we can only have a few families that can get together at Christmas, and it's not going to be the best razzmatazz Christmas with people with massive families. I mean, Julie's sister's got nine children. One husband, no <laughs> twins. It's like, you know, Where's nine kids. So yeah. No. My is she, is going, she gonna have to kick three of the kids out at Christmas? <laughs> yeah. You laugh. Yes. Yes. Even one of them might be coming around here with Corbin. But anyway. <laughs> and I've now forgotten what I was gonna say. What was I oh yeah. Here we go. Right. Let me just give you this as a tip. What about if you phone mates, you're talking about Christmas what you're up to, what you're doing, everything else, then you just turn around and say, hey, John, hey, Mary, do you know anybody that lives in France or lives in Germany or lives in Italy or lives in Timbuktu or whatever? What do you think your friend is going to say to you? Why? Oh, I've got involved in this business and it's just launching in that country. And I'm after some contacts. Do you know anybody that lives in that country? Well, I don't, but I know one of my mates does. Great. Could you have a word with him and see if he could give me the person's name and details? And you just, it's just an excuse to get into talking to people. Now, listen, rather than you do that and you give me that contact's name, let me share with you what I partnered with. What are you doing on Monday at 7.30? Oh, 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 I don't know. No, nothing. Great. Well, look, I've got two lines available. Do you fancy spending 15 minutes of taking a look at what I partnered with? Oh, yeah. Okay, thanks. Find excuses and reasons why you need to speak to people. And it is a game, guys. Make it a game. Don't confuse the issue. Don't tell them what it's all about. Just keep it real simple. Anyway, right there we go. Before we go, I was just going to type a message, but I'm not, you, you, you stopped. It's, it's rare for you to stop, but you stopped. So <laughs> I've just been reading the message on my phone. Oh. <laughs> I've just been reading the message on my phone. Gary, it's going to be your time, mate. I'm going to ask you to tell people the message you just sent me. So can you unmute yourself, please, Gary Hudson? He's going to hate me for this now. I'm going to kill you, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> put your camera on as well. Come on, stop being shy. Yeah, put your camera on. I'm going, to, I'm going to have to turn my camera off so that I can read the message. Okay, all right. I'm all going right. to have to minimise the... Uh, the screen. Tell people um, why, why the message was why you've got a message and what you're going to read to me. Yes, yeah, uh, earlier on at six o'clock, me and Roger did a, a Facebook Zoom um, on my on my Facebook, uh, just talking about the business and everything. And I, I received a message off someone. I've not spoken to him in a long time, but it says, uh, "Thank you." The reason I'm back online is because I came across your first video link. And your chat with Roger. So looked at your video again, and last time the first thing I saw was the typical American hype and cryptocurrency, which put me right off. However, when I watched uh, your chat with Roger, it was much better. No American hype and rah rah, just two ordinary, ordinary English guys explaining the basics of what you do. That's basically what it, what he said. 
That's it. So he, he carried on. He, he then said he, said he went back to the other one because we didn't touch on prices. Yeah, looking, so he went back and looked at the previous video together. to get the prices, and he's now back interested in the video. Thanks for that, Gary. Yeah. Really, really appreciated. That no, was from no, doing no. a Facebook Live earlier on. Gary reached out to me to do a Facebook Live. Nick did a Facebook Live with me last week. Um, you know, Bailey did a Facebook Live with me a few weeks ago. These Facebook Lives work, guys. Because particularly because it's just when you do a Facebook Live and it's you talking to the camera, you're selling to everybody. When two of us do a Facebook Live, we're having a chat, unless Simon's on, in which case Simon's selling to the camera. But <laughs> you can't help yourself, can you? Permanent nah. broadcast. But when we're just having a chat, it doesn't come across as putting people under pressure. So just, it means you've got to be brave. Gary was absolutely wetting himself at the thought of doing a Facebook Live. We actually did it yesterday. And then after we did it, he then sent me a message back and said, I'd only done it to myself. It hadn't gone out on Facebook. So we did it again tonight. It happens, yeah? And he was still nervous tonight. And hats off to you, Gary. Did a great job. You know, really, really did. Just do it, guys. I mean, Gary's not actually in my team. I don't care who I do these with. I will do these to help, yeah? Let's just get as many people as we can to see your story you know, did it with Nick last week. Nick's Gary's upline. Nick's not in my team. People in my own team aren't reaching out. What the hell are you thinking? Please. I'm here to do these calls. Simon's here to do these calls. We're here to help you build your businesses. You know, a chat between us, it's not as much pressure as you doing it in any other way. All you've got to do, what Nick did, uh, did and what Gary did, they both had a few questions and ask me questions and let me do the do the talking and let me do the selling in a very laid back way. And you heard the conversation from someone who Gary had spoken to in the past and didn't really consider to be a prospect anymore. But the fact is, putting it on social media, people still watch you. When people say no to you, they're not really saying no, they're saying not yet. They're just watching to see no, to see more. You've got a chance to show them. So use it. That's it. We've waffled enough. So let's wrap this up. I will put a recording into this, this into the Facebook group as quickly as I can. In the meantime, could you just uh, give everybody a G up and let everyone in your team know that they need to be using these calls. They need to be using these calls Monday through Thursday next week because I think if we can get... Half a dozen people from one call on Tuesday. Wouldn't it be great if we were getting 20, 25, 30 people next week in our teams? And we were turning around, instead of saying Katie's rank advanced, we were saying that Paul's rank advanced, Leslie's rank advanced, Yvonne's rank advanced, Dave Cheap's had rank advanced, Ed's rank advanced, Tugan's rank advanced, everybody else. If we all pull together as a team effort, everyone moves forward. Okay. Bearing in mind, bearing in mind, we're going to do the recognition on the first of next month. So you've got a few days to move rank. So now I don't know. Are we going to be doing what's the date next week for the? The first is Monday, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, this is Monday. Okay, you're not going to have too many presentations in. Um, if you're well, well, and get them now. We're not, but the, but the thing is, if we're just talking to people and just telling people, look, all you got to do is copy a text message and you make money. Do you want to have a go? You'll hmm. already have people saying. Bailey has people that he said he said that to someone the other day, and the guy just went, "Yeah, yeah, I'll do that." <laughs> Bailey sent me a message. Bailey was so excited, I'd love to play Bailey's message back to you, but I, I haven't got a machine to bleep out the end of it. He was that excited. <laughs> Seriously, you know, keep it simple. People will join you. You won't even, you'll get to the point you won't even need presentations. Bailey, Bailey said, oops. <laughs> oops. 
<laughs> right, guys, unmute yourselves and let's have everybody say goodbye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. See you later, guys. Bye. 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 See you Bye. soon. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.